hey, I'm a little tired. I'm a little frustrated. I'm a little aggravated. I just saw, because I have an iPad, right? I'm actually starting to read the newspaper. And I saw in the today's, what is it called today? USA Today. Maybe it'll come up and I can show it to you. USA Today, here we are. Census. Right. No. I just had it. Okay, now this is going to be hard. It's going to be difficult to get it back. The U.S. Census is taking, uh, uh, especially New York State, are taking census uh, uh, of homosexual same-sex uh, people having same-sex relationships or sexual, same sexual relationships and having them mark it as a single, single uh, family. Even though these, these uh, states do not recognize a marriage as a uh, same-sex marriage as a uh, legitimized marriage, which it is not. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with the foundation of life in human beings. It's just a sexual behavior that many people choose for different reasons. So, uh, so, so beyond that, so it had Mr. Sulu uh, I didn't know he was gay. He just copied one of my moves. I kind of go, woo! Just copy that and making a million dollars off of it. And now he's on television uh, for this. So, um, it's the same mental breeding. Uh, this mental conditioning. I can't get it back for some reason. And maybe it's under here, like... Okay, and they don't show it. I had to start it from the beginning. I wanted to show it to you. But I started reading the, the paper. I usually don't read the paper. And now I'm finding out how screwed up this world really is. And how hypocritical and how much full of BS. And basically, it's, it's, it's only, you know what it is? It's these women with talk shows. Only us, uh, 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 gloves is off. Uh, and... Hopefully, I'll get through this vlog without saying the B word and referencing between uh, female genitals with a, with a P. So, uh, I'm going to try not to do that because uh, i just seen some really, a bunch of, um, ah, man, I'm really about to rip, but I'm not going to do it. You know, my Christianity is about laying on the floor right about now. But, you know, I saw uh, these uh, women sitting around and ridiculing Tiger Woods for uh, having uh, several women. Now, let me say this. Tiger is probably, I, I, I've come, now that I realize how bad things are. Now how I realize, well, I got a little bump here, how bad things have fallen and the condition. Because I, I was just trying to think of what does it mean about humanity if we take two men and they start having anal sex, which is anal anus dookie, you know, okay, that's supposed to be a natural form, you know, just like the vagina or something like that. So, you know, you can get all kind. It's dirty. It's unsanitary. That's a feces. So we are comparing this as a sexual marriage. Okay, people like to get freaky. All right, all right. It looks looks like fun. All right, okay. You want to do that, but the, the not, there's a certain facts that you can't deny. Okay. But it doesn't create life. So what does this say about marriage? Okay, you stick someone in their dirt hole and it and and you know they and you love them. So marriage is supposed to be about dirt hole love. Okay. You know, that's what are we saying? Is that what we're saying? You know, that the normal 
man, woman, sex, penis, and vagina is not what it's about. You know, it's not what life is about. And then we turn around and compensate, compensate, compensate them and say it's marriageable. And they can't even know what. And then we got to turn around and take children. And we've completely been mentally duped and, and mind just twisted, just out of, of, of trying to better, fem uh, better male and female marriages. Marriages, I don't care how bad things get with a marriage. You can, most of the time, I'm going to tell you something, a story about marriage. I don't know if I should even say it. But we think we're in control of marriage. You can have people, God said, well, God put together no man will put apart. You know, in situations where two people get married, one could get shot around the other side of the planet, divorce, get shot around, them, and then before they both die, they both go together. They both go together. I mean, I just saw, I saw this young couple that just got killed, you know, by somebody and, and both of them about to get married and they died together, you know. But I seen older people about, you know, divorce been a part their whole life and then wind up dying together. You know, it's just amazing. And and, and it, it just amazes me because we've literally said, okay, now we have to, this is like the matrix. This is like, we're gonna have to make test two babies for Trino because they can't have relationships and they have convinced and duplicate that regardless that they don't have the proper parts to ever throughout the history of humankind, any homosexuals to ever, a whole group crowd and civilization of people, which is only 10%, 10% of the actual uh, uh, people who are, are uh, uh, who are homosexual, a society. 10% have, have <laughs> now I can understand why they say 10% have the most money. 10% of a, a, a society actually runs the 90% because it only takes 10% to dupe the rest of them. 10% is a, is a deep number. So 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 here we go. We have these the these guys who have sex out of their anuses, okay, where you squat at, and then they're a loving family, and then they're told uh, unsanitary. It is if you just do it on a regular day. I mean, let's say they both de disease free, okay, and they just want to have sex. They got, what do they got to do? They got to, uh, you know, that's where you have feces at. I understand heterosexuals do the same thing sometimes, but at least they have the option to be clean. You know, if you have two homosexuals and you put them together and you want to have a, a, a penis and a vagina, at least you know that, okay, in a normal situation, you know, that they haven't already had sex or whatever, haven't already, you know, want, already caught some STD, you know, that their the sex is going to be natural and normal. The two parts are going to go together and they're going to be clean. They're going to be suitable for each other. We have said that, no, that this kind of a, a, a adverse, abnormal form of sex abnormal form of sex is going to be okay. And then we're going to have to take babies and and and, and give them to them because they're they've convinced that 10% has convinced the rest of the world, which is so dumb. Let me tell you how dumb you are, you know, heterosexuals. Let me tell you how dumb you are. And I really, I really blame a lot of it on women because, you know, and that's why I'm talking about these catty chicks on these talk shows. Because they sit up there and they've convinced the world that, you know, an effeminate man is a good thing. An effeminate man. So as long as you don't act like a man, you're good. So this is what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, literally. These women will sit up here and convince men to, to, that they have to go to a, uh, 
they have to go to what do they call it? A sex therapist. They're a sex addict for wanting other women. <laughs> That's how how duped they are. That's how duped. Now wait a minute. If we gotta go back to the Bible days of Sodom and Gomorrah, then we need to go back to the polygamy days where where men can have ten women. And so therefore, I say right on to Tiger Woods. Right on to Jesse James, them is the uh, uh, Sandra Bullock's husband, and you know what, Sandra, she need to stay with him. You know, <laughs> you know, she work and probably do her thing anyway. But you know, right on to Tiger Woods and Jesse, the only real men left, because they have said they have finally, and I encourage the rest of the men, the real men, while there's still some left. Get as many as you can, polygamize or whatever, as much as you can. If they don't pass polygamy into a law, grab as many women as you can. Line them bitches, them hoes up, <laughs> them sluts up like Tiger Wood. <laughs> now, they'll call them skanks, but you line every one of those Fine ass skanks, and since the other men don't want them in it, or the homo men, you it is seven to one. Every man should have seven women. So line, you get Tiger Woods. I applaud him. He's a great man. Jesse Jack, uh, Jesse James. I applaud him because those those. Two bit hypocrite women, them um, power hungry women. All they want is the damn power. That's all they want. If you go back to the Garden of Eden, all they want is power. They, you know, the first, you know, Eve cheated on her husband with a snake. You know, she got together and started devising with him because he offered her one thing power, money, apple, the apple. And so, so that's what we have here. So Tiger Woods, I completely applaud him. He's a great man. He's just one of the first men that figured him and Jesse James and any other man, seven men. They don't have to be virgins, but get you seven women this summer. Seven women to every man. And you can have these women. They'll sit and effeminize you and call you abnormal for wanting to have sex with them. <laughs> and say you got to go. Now, check this out. Check this. This is the the real ringer. This is why I vlog and I just, just coming out with it. Because two men that are having sex in the anus and the butt and going down and, and making himself a bitch to another man, they will say, that's okay. That's normal. But a man that has seven women, he's abnormal and he has to go get neutered and go to a darn sex therapist. Tiger Woods, after you win this championship, uh, <laughs> I just said, you know, they they call that abnormal. They call that abnormal. Issues, issues. Only a woman can come out there. So this this planet, I'm sorry, man. If you ever think that you let a woman rule you, you know, even God spoke against that, you know. Now, on the defense of women, obviously, the best we can do is have women. The best, God made everything and he said, everything is good, everything is fine, everything is good until he made man. And he said, he said, we were alone. So all of it, it was man and we was alone. And he said, that is not good. It is not good for man to be alone. Obviously, why? They were probably having sex in the butt where he made the butt the poo out of, right? You know, and so, so, and feces and dirt and stuff like that. That's what it's naturally for, okay? Now, I know everybody does everything we saw on YouTube, you know, men having sex with animals, whatever, up in their butt, you know. Man got killed by having a darn horse skewer him with a spear, okay? That's how, you know, ungood this situation is, okay? So, so we're, you know, I, come on, 
the truth. We'll just deal with the truth. Everybody saw it, you know. And so, <laughs> and then we are trying to say that that's not homosexual. It's amazing. They'll say all this stuff that is not homosexual. Men on little boys and say that's not homosexual, okay? You know, I could even give them credit if it was at least a female, okay? That's how I feel about it, you know? You know, across the country, they're marrying nine-year-old girls, not nine-year-old boys, you know? You know? So... This is the 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 fact the fact. I, I mean, I'm just it's just starting to dawn on me how warped we are. So if you so if you're gonna go back to the old Bible days where men can start marrying men, then you gotta start having men uh, start marrying seven and and ten women or how many they want. You know, you know, this is all about a power struggle for some woman who got some money or whatever and and is making the rules. You know, if men, if a Hillary Clinton ever get in office, we really screwed. So you better enjoy it. Men, it's a free for all. It's free for all. Get, you know, the same. And what's so sad about it is the women will turn around and complain. All the men are gay. I can't find a man because all the men are gay. All the men are gay. Seven to one, men. Seven to one.